Hey folks, Quilly Teen here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 3. We are the Sikh Empire. And in the previous episode, the first episode, we took over two of our neighbors, Sind over here and some country, which name I've already forgotten, started with an M. Uh, their state is a, a partial state, the split state of uh, Baluchistan with Kalat over here controlling uh, some of the others. So we're going to go and do a little... Um, we're going to say hi to them soon with our army. I'm just going to let my infamy bleed off a wee bit more before we do that. So we can look more towards um, internal uh, internal economy affairs. Got a few things they're building queue. Since we are making money and we've got some stored up and we're not about to go to war, I'm going to go ahead and alt click on Punjab over here to get an extra construction sector. They build very quickly and then we'll be able to do a bit more. As we do that, our price for fabric and wood is going to increase as we soak up more of it for our construction industry. So we'll keep an eye on that. Let's go up to speed four for now. We were making a move to theocracy, which might be just totally silly, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It'll be interesting to see if it's a good way around the um, the land hold, landholder or landowner stranglehold on the government. No idea if this is a good, oh, no, we just got an event that dropped our chance to success down to zero. So I guess we're going to cancel that after all. Hooray! I guess we're not having a revolution. Not that it was enough to cause us a problem anyway, but there we go. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Many different traits have just triggered from our interest groups. Well, having the rural folk be happy again is actually going to do some decent things for us. I guess that's all right. All right, construction sector done. Money is still positive. I think I can go ahead. Let's go up to like five construction sectors in Punjab itself. <gasps> what? Ch China? Dude, I thought we were going to be bros. I was hoping we'd be bros. I'm here. I am ready to defend against aggression from the East India Company. I wasn't really expecting something there. I mean, just because they've rivaled us doesn't necessarily mean it's going to go that way, mm, but that's a little scary. Oh, that's not, it's not great. I think as soon as my, um, my infamy drops below 25, I might go ahead and just start some things. So, you know, we're going to keep it high, but at the very least, I'm going to take the rest of Kalat. See about getting those iron mines going. That'd be nice. Turmoil's starting to drop here a fair bit. I mean, we're going to want to presumably tax people. I don't know how much taxation we're going to get from this, but. How long does this one take? 20 years. I mean, I could just start it. What about Sind? It's only five years. It's more expensive. Yeah, you know what? We'll just we'll just do it. There's probably some sort of like meta about where you should incorporate and where you shouldn't un you shouldn't incorporate. But I mean, it's all nearby. We're going to have it forever. It feels like ultimately it's going to be fine. You know what? I'll just start this one. I know it's going to put us negative on bureaucracy. Um, but I'm weird like that. And I'm going to say that that's OK. Should probably plan on getting government administration over here. Yeah. Just because it'll fix the bureaucracy problem as well as we do have a lack of taxation. Um, I mean, we need like infinitely more taxation capacity in Punjab here to make this work. So uh, to get all the taxes. So that's going to be OK. All right. Speed four. And we're going to chill for a tick militarily. Uh, yeah, not enough taxation. What's expensive? Wood. I guess. Well, what is very likely to happen, I think, is we're going to max out the lumber camp in Punjab itself. But yeah, wood got more expensive. Which is costing more construction money, but that seems to be okay. Well, I don't want to overload the queue here because I want to be I want to be very responsive and agile to whatever is happening. Although it's hard to imagine not just building another lumber camp here. Especially since furniture tends to be one of the goods that gets expensive pretty quick. And if we want to have a furniture industry, which will make us tons of money, we need to throw plenty of lumber at it. Because I don't have any real bureaucracy here, I can't really set up more trade routes. Uh, at least these are these are productive, so that's at least nice. What else we got going on here? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I want to build more in Punjab because I have so many people here, but the infrastructure problem is a thing. Until we get railroads, we actually might be kind of limited in how much more we want to be able to build here. Like, having not full market access is okay, because they'll, you know, sell some of the goods domestically, which is going to happen anyway, but I guess I really will have to consider building in other provinces. Mm. On the other hand, I don't... Okay, ideally, you build a constructing sector sector where you're going to be building a lot of things, because you do get a bonus for it. On the other hand, I don't think the construction sector consumes any infrastructure. I don't see anything in here that says that. So this might be the thing that continues to be safe to develop in Punjab itself. And in the long term, we're going to be building lots there because it has a huge population. That that seems viable, in which case, but in any case, I will go and queue up a logging camp, but I'm going to queue it up places where we have infrastructure to spare. There we go. A little something like that. Because, yeah, I think we're going to we're going to want a decent amount of this. It's not the most valuable um, uh, product in the universe, but... It'll have to do. All right, Infamy has dropped below 25, which is not a magic number in any way. I'm sort of just vaguely using it as a bit of an idea. Obviously, if we start another war, we will run into a deficit again, but... Let's do it. Let's conquer the rest of the state. And military, mobilize you, throw you up on there. They do have much stronger defense, although, again, we're going to have pure numbers here. Okay, they've rivaled us as well. No one's leaning in this direction. I guess none of these people actually... Surprisingly few mobilized, uh, battalions they can mobilize, although I guess if they raise their conscripts, things will change immediately and dramatically. There you go. No, that's the end of that phase. No one else jumped in. So yeah, we should be able to punch through here just fine, get the rest of Baluchistan, and then again, take another bit of a breather. At some point, we'll go after Afghanistan, because I think it's got, um... Well, first of all, it's got multiple states. As I say, it does have coal and iron mines, coal mines over there. Those are going to be very valuable for us to get in the long term. But yeah, for now, well, this first battle, we don't have a whole lot that got in there. It looks like it's going to be okay, though. All right. Antagonistic. Natural enemy, rivalry, military threatening neighbor. Did I build up my military too much and people are scared? Yeah, I can see the expenses going up like crazy. Uh, Clipper... Clipper's goods. Oh, yeah, we do have some coastal stuff going on. We're probably not building our own ships. I don't think that's going to be the end of the world. We might want to build one shipyard. We could import them. Maybe I really do need a bunch more government offices. Well, we've got a government administration being made now. There you go. Okay. Good. Troops stand down. I mean, we're still uh, doing deficit spending, but it's just construction right now. So that's okay. So all of Baluchistan is now ours as one organized state. The turmoil has bounced back up over there. Interesting. The Cosman Corporation. Did we pay like... No, because it's actively using the points while it's running. So I'm betting the cost of incorporation has gone up. Yeah, probably. Wait, is it still split state? Oh, Gwadar. Yeah, which is owned by Oman. I mean, this is pretty minor, I suspect. No, no, not Oman, sorry. Yeah, there's not a lot in there. I mean, at some point, we might go and pick that up. But yeah, I'm not I'm not concerned about that at all. OK, so yeah, overall, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, declared interest. Do I want to declare interest somewhere else? Or different trade stuff. So, I mean, we've got you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and spread over here just because it'll give us potentially access to some different goods for trading. Not that I can really support much trade right now. And yeah, bureaucracy went down a little bit. Government offices, eight more weeks to go. All right, so the check marks is that qualifications for all current. 
But it does feel like it still had enough to supply the existing buildings. Again, over here, well, now it's saying we're fine. But those are potential qualifications. Yeah, it's weird. I'm a little confused. Because I'm pretty sure if we built this now... I need 2,000 shopkeepers. And it says we have 25,000. I guess they're not currently shopkeepers, but they can change themselves into shopkeepers. So I, I guess the tool tips are both correct and incorrect. Okay. Uh, Cashmere needs some taxation capacity too. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. I guess one of the government offices did just finish because this got a little bit better all of a sudden. Russian, Russian rivalry. I mean, I would be a rival too. Your name's too similar to mine. What? This, this world ain't big enough for two something shiz. One of you have to go. Okay, wood is expensive. Fabric is, I mean, it's, I mean, it is a little bit below price, but mostly we do have the excess. We do have the clothing. It's interesting that it's luxury clothing specifically. Oh, you know what I never did? Good God. I never checked my consumptions and I have tons of, uh, tons of authority to go here. Hold on. Uh, we'll tax luxury clothes. Porcelain. Tea is decent value. I mean, mm, this is going to hurt some of the quality of life. But yeah, let's do it a little bit more. Okay. Maybe a little heavy in consumption taxes, but I'm sure that's fine. We're not going to get that many radicals, are we? All right, let's take a look at our law situation. Anything else I can make a change to? We do the police. I can't do another crack at the monarchy change. I'm not going to reform the government. Oh, yeah, there's really not much I can do right now. Okay, if I want to pop out a serfdom. Rural intelligentsia, industrialists. They just need to get more, more power somehow. Um, What if... I just started bolstering something. I mean, intelligence is usually good for pushing things, but I'm wondering about short term. If I just push rural folks, they're already a little closer. I don't really want to go agrarian. I don't think I can do this. Yeah. We have total separation, which we don't have, but we do have serfdom, so we're not allowed to switch. This is why it would be good to switch away from that. Okay. okay. Who else supports switching away from serfdom? Rural. Which might be the most value. Like, that might be the best path. We might be able to get the rural folk having enough influence. I suppose, can I bolster more than one? Because I've got the authority. Okay, now I don't, but it will bolster the intelligentsia as well. Maybe non-marginalize them. Oh, we got an earthquake. 40% devastation, or I don't know if we can afford that. We're still going to get devastation regardless, so yeah, we're going to have to let that go through. Ah, it hurts a little bit. Let's do it. Eh, construction costs. Yeah, wood's still a little on the high side. A couple of logging camps is going to be good. Great hunger, path to liberalism. Make sure the famine raise standard living by three points. I don't know if we're going to be able to do a standard living boost. What's the clipper situation here? So yeah, we want five clippers. That was weird. Why would I bring this up? Import trade route. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I mean, it's going to cost me some bureaucracy, but we'll bring in some clippers. Oh, is this more? 
Okay, emergency relief in Kashmir. That actually sounds like a good idea. Okay, we'll do it. The biggest thing is if we could increase standard living. So one of the ways we do it, um, oh, you know what I realized? This is a, uh, I'm playing on my new computer here and a lot of my settings in carryover. I need to decrease the tooltip timer. Under controls, game, timer lock. I think timer lock's good, but I want to lower this decay delay by about half. Let's see how that feels. Yeah. Uh... So they're paying off for grain, which mostly just means food. Um, there you go. Basic foods need. So when you see that your nation's largest expense is grain, that doesn't necessarily mean making more grain is the answer. Um, any of the food stuff works. And in fact, groceries might be the best way of doing it because you can uh, overall make more money and get more bang for your buck out of that. Because you I think you, you generate like a net positive in terms of satisfying basic goods needs by bringing down the price of groceries. I think. Yeah, wood is still expensive. I know outmoded economics. Famine Kashmir Park criticism of economic policy traditionalism. I'd love to change that, actually. Maintain traditions should not cost lives. Imports, lower exports, landowners get upset, or people have starved in every era, such as the way of the world. More radicals for lower strata pop in Kashmir. I'm betting that's most of them. Okay, I'm gonna go with option one. It's gonna tank my authority for a little bit. I think that's not the end of the world right now. Yeah, I actually, it's, you know what? I don't think we can get the rural folk powerful enough to get them in here. And the intelligentsia, yeah, they'll never get there. Maybe I should just boost this, the priesthood. Because then maybe we can get another crack at turning into a theocracy. Oh yeah, I don't have 200 influence. Um, I kind of want to keep the rural folk bolstering though. So I'm going to do that. Although the clout's not moving. Oh, he's actually a royalist. Well, that's interesting. Who's the leader of the uh, the Sikhs? Pious, patriarchal, Sikh militancy. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I'll keep bolstering you for now. That's gonna have to be all right. But yeah, these things are huge debuff on the production over here. I think I still want you to finish. I don't know. Maybe I should cram some things in the front of the list here. Um, what are you looking at? Yeah, wood's still expensive. We'll tell you what. How about we go? Um, I'm still worried about the infrastructure situation. Is this stripe? I mean, they don't have enough. Can I see? Okay, construction efficiency in Kashmir has got the malice, but not by much. Okay, Pushtan. Uh, this will possibly set your... Whoops. You know, it's fine. We'll, uh, no, I'll cancel the cashmere ones. Um, this might go over our infrastructure limits in uh, in Pash. So it keeps saying push, but... Famine, spark criticism. Oh, this is the same, the same event again. I really don't want more radicals. Now, how come... So last time I did a game, Point of Bureaucrats was okay. I was able to get that going on. I'm guessing... Oh, is it because our priesthood... No, not a priesthood. Oh, no, either one of these are royalists. I was able to push for... Um, appointed bureaucrats fairly early last time. It must have been a leader that had random support of this. Like in the military or something. And that was really helpful for getting rid of... getting rid of, um, being able to change a little bit because weakening the landowners. 
Let's see, I can make the rural folk richer if I just invest in more farming and stuff, right? Because they'll have they'll they'll grow the ones that are working it. Because the pops that are like farming pops tend to be associated to rural folks, and they would have more money and more influence, and they would get some strength. Yeah, maybe. Um, I suppose I could. Well, I can't because I don't have the things. I could consider starting to suppress landowners rather than boosting the others. What if I just suppress landowners? I don't remember. Does that make them? Oh, they're in the government. I can't do it. Dang it. All right. I'll just bolster, bolster the priesthood. We'll see if we can use that to go theocratic. Which right now wasn't even in the list. The priesthood opposed this change. Really? Looks to me like they should endorse theocracy. I'm confused. We had looked at someone who's a royalist. Yeah, but that's the rural folk. Which I assume strongly endorses monarchy. Despite not enjoying full rights under Sikh law, some wealthier Pushtan people have become moving to neighborhoods. Right. Mm. Yeah, this is fine. Great hunger. Oh, I'd love to raise the standard of living, but I don't know if we're going to get there. Okay. Logging is a go. Now, it's standard living anywhere, right? Yeah. I could temporarily lower taxes. I think that would do it. I don't really want to. Um, Budget wise, I go and drop government wages. Intelligentsia and petite bourgeoisie, both of them are marginalized. I'll lose some prestige, but I think we can go ahead and do that. Does it matter if we go to unrecognized regional power? I'm not sure. How's my infamy? Uh, I think I'm going to bleed off a little bit more before I go after Afghanistan. Hey, we got positive money again, despite being in construction. So again, normally that tells me, hey, let's go and um, let's go and build more construction. Now I'm thinking maybe we can support more military. Relations boosting. Great Britain was pretty happy with us. China's still not a fan. Yeah, Persia hates me. Ottoman protective. Well, I'll improve relations over here. So that hopefully that means they'll defend me in a war and not again ask me to be um, annexed. We'll improve some relations with Russia as well. They're relatively close. They're relatively big. That seems like a decent idea. All right, speed five, go. How's the price of lumber? Okay. It's still manageable. I think this is still okay. Can I, should I target, if I want to raise um, quality of life, would I, could I target the poorer states for things? I don't know if that makes much sense. Tens of agriculture unlocked. Okay. And, oh, and we got the cotton gin just spread to us automatically, which may be why we completed the agriculture right away, because we may have gotten the, the discount to teching, although we are still missing one level one tech over here with the lathe. Um, I, it's going to be quite important for us to get railroads so that we can raise our infrastructure, but I think I will just go to lathe as, as the last level one over here, and then I think we're going to queue up mechanical tools. And the reason for that is we should be able to make tools 
because we've got access to iron mines now. Knowledge lays start to spread to us, in which case I'm wondering about not. Oh, well, something's going to spread to us regardless, and then we'll just finish it faster. OK, no, that's fine. And because your infrastructure limited in Punjab, I might just want to build it somewhere else. Kashmir. Okay, let's start a tick. Yeah, it's all current vacancies, not enough for this, except that it actually does, so we can more or less ignore that warning right now. Our states seem to mostly be okay. So I'll build a tools industry in Kashmir, because we don't have any right now. That will generate a demand for iron. We already have some iron demand for our arms industry. But do we actually have iron mines? No, and we'll definitely want to build those. Okay, I know the construction industry has got a malice here. So is the malice to efficiency not, I guess it's not tied to the percentage of turmoil. It's just if there is turmoil, but I'm assuming, I think when it drops below 25%, we'll be okay here. Uh, Army reserve, sure. I don't really care about conscription. As you know, I do not like to use that if I can avoid it. Don't want to kill off my labor force. I'm thinking about adding some more construction. Again, I will do it in Punjab. I'm build a couple here, which again will drive up the price of um, of logging. <clears throat> but we've got some more logging camps coming in, and it's not like crazy high right now. Knowledge of Academia spread to us. Okay, uh, started to spread to us. That'll let us build a university, which will, as I say, fix our qualifications problem. Except it turns out we don't seem to have a qualifications problem. It would be great to increase literacy because that will increase our innovation rate which is really handy, you know, get that tech faster. So our literacy is pretty low. Okay. Build that. There you go. Slightly negative, which is totally fine by me. We're not really paying much interest, which is great to see. At some point, we'll go after Afghanistan. I am starting to get more and more concerned, though, that um, our neighbors hate us and they might get involved in some of this warfare. We're going to cross our fingers that we can take Afghanistan next and then get their coal mines. Coal and iron, I think. Well, we might just take one province. I could try to add a second province to the war goal. That will definitely increase um, infamy. So it might just be better to take one little bite first. Cambodia improving relations. All right. Great hunger. Yeah, and we might just have to live through that, unfortunately. Okay, leader of the rural folks retired. So, oh, you're still royalists. Is this just tied, I guess, to the rural folks? Well, no, you specifically were a royalist here. Yeah, ideally royalist. Moderate, moderate, moderate. Devout scandal. Um. Yeah, we'll force this guy to stand down. I don't want the priesthood to lose popularity. You are a traditionalist. Legal guardianship, state religion. Neither one of which are super convenient for me, if I'm going to be all that honest with you. Yeah, wow, we cannot make a move forward in terms of our politics. Um, I wonder if some social texts would help, like, shake things up in terms of power structure. Iron input shortage. Mm-hmm. Well, we got the iron mine queued. Actually, maybe what I'll do is, even though this has got the construction penalty, I won't start with the tooling workshop until that's done. That is really slow to build. I do have a little bit of bureaucracy to spare. I could consider bringing in more iron with another trade route. That's all fine. I guess it's time to put in a cut. Oh, did we cap out our relations with Great Britain? Well, isn't that lovely? What if I want to start with, is there anyone else I care about? I don't know. We might just sit on the positive um, influence here or the infamy decay. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we're going anywhere with the Sikh Empire. 
So I will stop him doing that, and then we can get more infamy decay as well. Okay, uh, the other two are pretty useful. I do like that they made the decision in this game so that you don't feel like you're wasting your points if you're not using them because you're still getting a benefit. I mean, I suppose if you're not spending your influence and you don't have any infamy, then that's not helpful. But if you don't have any infamy, you're probably playing more of a political game anyway. So you want to be improving more relations. What does um, what does Coquelin over here have in Tajikistan's? Okay, a bunch more coal mines. I don't really need coal right away, especially if we're not part of a greater market. Right, because I don't, I don't think right off the bat we have anything we can do with coal. Not until we start uh, steel industry, um, maybe like railroad. I can't remember if that uses coal directly. Does the motor industry use it? No, I don't think so. I mean, I know coal is something we're going to need like an infinite amount of, but I don't know. Which are a process? Oh, uh, the the improved mines, all the, like the automatic or not automatic, but like the machine powered mining industry uses a bunch of coal, and that is really valuable. Uh, once we get to atmospheric engine, which is an incredibly powerful thing, that does help out a lot. But yeah, it's possible the railroad stuff does as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, oh, this is my arms industry in iron shortage. Yeah. Is there something, is there a way to reduce terminal? Yeah, it's just radical pops. I mean, we can look at these dudes over here. Because they're going to get, they're getting some radicalism because they're being discriminated against. I could promote national values, but because this is a homeland of the Baluki. I don't think they'll convert, right? Yeah, I don't think there's a way to avoid that. So we could lower their turmoil. Now, some of it might have been from a like, recently conquered trait. I can't remember if that's a thing. Uh, can I look at like a specific... Like, why specifically? And peasants have the most radicals, but they're also the biggest group. As a percentage, laborers are probably the most significant here. And yeah, these laborers are have a lower standard of living than the peasants themselves. So the people working in the port are starving. Is it because this port has no money, so it can't pay its people? But it doesn't it doesn't do money. It doesn't work that way. Uh, oh, I think it's because you're double discriminated. I think discriminated pops get paid less. I mean, there, there are only 14 people, so I guess this group is kind of irrelevant. There's only two people over here. Well, two radicals. Yeah, three, 16. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, they're not relevant here. Now, it sounds mean, but let's be realistic. That's the way it goes. I can't something that was consuming authority. Violent suppression. This just lowers the penalties from turmoil. It doesn't actually decrease the turmoil itself. Which doesn't sound... Doesn't sound to me like what I care about. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I clearly have to put a cut in here. I might do a quick little Google on turmoil and see what things... I think the best way to do it would be to just make sure they have more money in their pockets so they can uh, get more goods or make sure to supply them with more goods that they care about. Which is tough because we are kind of trade limited. Um... You know, goods with import demand, this isn't always accurate way of making money, and I don't know if bringing in luxury clothes is actually going to go and make that many people that happy. Uh, I do have convoys. I could do that. 
I mean, that's going to help some people, and certainly it's going to give me some money overall. The fruit situation, it's not going to bring in much fruit. I don't think it's going to change much. It's going to open up more food. Could export some grain just to make money for me, although it would increase the cost of grain for my population. Um, I can export dyes, but I'm pretty sure I'm importing dyes. I mean, we can play as a middleman, but I don't think that's the thing to spend my bureaucracy on. If we show all goods and look, what have we got a shortage on? Yeah, we can't import this. I don't think I'll import wood. We are now importing the luxury goods. We could consider importing some furniture, although it's not that expensive. We have sort of like in terms of raw numbers, one of the higher deficits, but that's it. Fruit is very expensive. Actually, man, I'm kind of tempted to just bring in more iron here. A little bit from the Ottomans. It'll get rid of the shortage modifier, which at least is good. And it'll bring in some more cash for us. Okay, I'll definitely put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.